Hey guys, Jordan here, your new electronic music producer friend, and today I'm going to teach you how to remix literally any retro video game soundtrack that you can think of. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to www.vgmusic.com. And here we have what's called MIDI files that contain all the melodies for practically every retro game soundtrack ever made. Um, there's, you can also Google uh, MIDI, M-I-D-I, for any retro game that you're looking for specifically. And then I'm going to go to Sega Genesis here, and I'm just going to do a search for Sonic and check out the different Sonic tracks. And today we're going to remix Starlight Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 1, the original. So I'm going to download this MIDI track here. And I've already saved it right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to import that into my DAW, Ableton. So literally just drag and drop. I'm going to put it into arrangement view so I can see all the melodies. And uh, you can import the tempo, but for this example, I'm not going to import the tempo. And then as you can see, here's all the different MIDI notes and melodies for... Sonic the Hedgehog Starlight Zone. So this looks like a bass line, this might be a lead, these are some chords, this looks like a drum channel, another drum channel, and this is some sort of secondary lead, um, and then this is some sort of effect probably. That's just a, taking a glance at it. So <clears throat> I'm not going to go through every little nitty gritty step in doing it. This is one of the biggest steps. And then obviously you're going to go in and you're going to put in different instruments into these channels and replace the MIDI with the instrument. So for example, I could go in and for that bass line, I could use Massive or any other, what I think is a bass line here. <clears throat> and I could just load up some random bass preset. Okay, well that's a little bit insane. So we go through, we find a good preset that um, gives us a good starting point, and then from there we're going to fine tune it and tweak it, and we're going to build some drums around this, and I'm actually going to go ahead and download the original track as well, and um, if you want to do that, there's a program that I use called 4K Video Downloader and literally any YouTube video that you put into this program it will just go ahead and strip the audio from it if you want. So you can paste a link here and then you can see I've already downloaded uh, Starlight Zone, the original track, and you can paste any YouTube link and it'll ask you if you want to strip the audio or if you want the, the video itself and then you can just drag and drop this into your DAW into a new channel and then now you have a good reference for the original. Okay, so let's get remixing. Okay, so as you can see, I have sliced up a lot of the melodies, I've added instruments into the channels themselves, and kind of moved things around for it to make sense. I took the original track, and I only used it for the intro here and I reversed it in this tiny little section here. So it's basically, and then of course I added some reverb and some EQing, so some subtle effects, so it's like this. So we got a little effect going on on the intro along with some static, just an effect. a little sample and we've got these are the chords that were originally used and I've just used a uh, Yuhi's Hive 
and a preset called MC Bones, which I edited just a little bit and added some EQing over, and I'm sending that audio to a reverb channel, which is using the Lex Lexicon series reverb, which is kind of just a fancy reverb. You guys don't have to use something that fancy. You can just stick with the Ableton reverb or Protoverb, which is a free plugin from Yuhi. Um, and this sounds like... So it's pretty experimental, that melody that they were using in the original track. If you listen to it, here, here it is without any reverb or anything. And so I made a lead that was very similar to that original lead. And I just put uh, Native Instruments driver on it to add some distortion. I used a vinyl distortion plugin that comes with Ableton, some EQing to cut off the low end, bump up the mid high end, and drop off the very high end. And I'm using Reactor 6 uh, and a plugin called Razor. And I'm using the El Gallo preset with some minor modifications because obviously I'm not trying to spend all day on this remix. <laughs> Um, I used an accompanying lead here uh, from Massive and um, boosted the low mids to give like a little bell sound. And then of course we got the hip hop drums, which probably probably should have showed you that first. The way I uh, created this drum loop was I downloaded a free uh, sample pack from Cymatics, which I'm not endorsing them in any way. There's just another free website to get samples from, and I've uh, made a write-up on my uh, jordanwinslow.me slash classroom. There's a link on there where you can click uh, free VST instruments and samples, and it'll take you to all the best sources that I have found for free samples. And uh, this is one of them, and so I downloaded um, the Cymatics Hip Hop Starter Pack to show you that these drums can be created for free from scratch pretty much and I opened up a loop in Ableton's um, sampler and I sliced it up by putting it in slice mode so and I detected the transients of the beat so each one of the each one of the little sections of this loop are corresponding to my Ableton push controller so if I want I can just kind of play things live and um, I started off with a live beat just kind of messing around you know and then I opened up the MIDI here and I went in and fine-tuned it so that I could get some you know really fast hat rolls going and just kind of make it sound punchy and then I added a little bit of EQing to boost the low end and cut the, the, the symbols down a little bit. Use Ableton's Transient Master to make it more punchy by raising the, the attack marker, which actually doesn't increase the attack, it decreases the attack. It makes the transient sound more punchy at the initial portion of each drum hit. And um, I sent it to the reverb channel, Lex Room, and I have a very low uh, decay uh, reverb going on here. It lasts for a very short time, 0.78 seconds, to s basically simulate a small room. And so here's what those drums sound like. And uh, when you tie all of that together, you got the leads, you got the, ba oh, I forgot, the bass I'm using. Uh, Substance, which is from a company called Output, and um, they make a ton of really impressive uh, instruments.
you set the loop indicator at the beginning of the track, it's like this. And you got a good old infinite loop going. So that's how to remix literally any retro game track that you can think of. Just go download the MIDI, uh, drop them all into separate channels, start moving them around and arranging them, add some catchy drums, and you want to time everything up. And um, I know that this wasn't like a complete tutorial, but that's because I have the education series How to Become a Music Producer in 2019 Without Tearing Your Hair Out. And I already go over all these topics on how to time stretch, how to slice drum loops, how to arrange melodies and time everything. So if you have any confusion as to what you're looking at here, you can always take my free course on YouTube or jordanwinslow.me slash classroom. So thanks for watching guys. Catch you later.